Hey YouTube, this is Dirty OM. I'm here because I did my hair challenge and um, I'm going to be posting a picture of what the hairstyle is supposed to be look like in this video. Um, I'll probably post it right about now. Well, and now I'm just going to show you the style. So, as you guys can see, this woman, because I don't know people by their names when it comes to famous people, because I really don't care. So this white lady has her hair in a little bump fret going on here, has her hair pulled back, and then has curls in the back. As you can see, I have all these things. Obviously, I have dreadlocks. Not, um, even if I didn't have dreadlocks, my hair would not be like hers at all, unless I had permed it. Um, and even then, it still wouldn't be like hers. Um, but I do my best to um, put in the style that she has. Obviously, it looks completely different just because of the way, um, well, not completely different. I mean, it's the same idea, but it just comes out differently. And, you know, if my hair was longer, it would come out differently. If my hair was shorter, it would come out differently, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, you can also do this hairstyle without actually um, using the same methods I use. This is just the way I did it. Um, it's just the way I chose to do it. So... If you were on my Tumblr, you saw the picture of me yesterday that I had, and I wore a bonnet, which is not out right now. Um, I wore my bonnet on my head, and I literally wore it like this. Yep. So I wore this bonnet like this, um, because in the back, I had my lock knots in. As you guys can see, this hair is curly right here, obviously, because I need to um, uh, procreation, that's not the right word, what is it, remedition, or whatever it is, of the style. So I, what I did was, um, parted this, these two sections off in this section. Now the top section, obviously for the, um, bump. So I actually had to, in order for it to perfectly, like, come up for some reason, because I had my hair tied back really far back and my locks weren't long enough to just do the bump and put in a ponytail because they didn't reach that far. So what I did was I took like the first two rows of my locks right here, um, stood them up, and then took like the next two rows of my locks in the front and actually rolled them down and then sat those locks on top so that I had a nice little bump as you can see right here. Or maybe I should do it like this. Um, right here I had a nice little bump. Um, and then I actually took pieces here from each side and laced them over so that I held them down and just put a ponytail holder on it. So that's how I got the bump. How I got the sides to be pulled back is instead of just putting my locks back, and if your hair is longer, it probably work better like that, but instead I tried to decide to switch up a little bit and show you how you can do different stuff instead of literally doing what she's doing. So I basket weaved it back and, um, Sadly, you guys can't see the texture of my hair, but hopefully you know what all these things mean. And hopefully I'll be explaining it enough so that you can see. And um, YouTube changed their editing, so I can't really brighten this video, and I really hate it. I was so mad when I found out. But bear with me. This college lighting is really bad, um, and hopefully I'll be able to do more videos in the light. Right now it's nighttime because I've been working, training all day. But um, I'm just going to try to explain as best I can. So on the sides, I basket weave my hair back. Um, and as you guys should know, basket weave is when you take hair and literally just slap it over. So I did that this way and I did it this way and then I connected them to my bump and I put that all in. I don't know what that is. <sighs> Noise outside. Creepy. Anyways, and then the rest of my loose locks that I also sectioned off, I put in the lock knot so that I could have my little boingy curls. So... I did that, obviously that's why I wore the bonnet, because the lock knots look kind of weird just sitting there like little tiny fat lock knots. And um, yeah, so I took these the lock knots out today, and they're reasonably curly, but I didn't care about leaving them in for too long. I literally only left them in for a day, and like a day and a half. So I didn't care about leaving them in too long because her hair, blue white people's hair, or not even white people's hair, but just hair the texture of a white person even maybe an Asian person or something. Um, sometimes they don't hold curls as well, unless obviously their hair is naturally curly, but obviously our black person's hair is more likely to hold a curl than a white person's hair in most cases, at least from a curling iron 
So her hair, her curls are kind of loose, you know? So I didn't care about the curls being absolutely perfect. So my curls are pretty loose, as you can kind of see on some of them. Um, but they, they would do, you know? And then another thing, instead of just leaving my hair down, I actually took a kind of worn out ponytail holder and put it around the ponytail that was at the very top of my hair all the way around and underneath my lock so that they would kind of be pulled up into the little kind of ponytail thing that she has going on. Um, so I'm going to show her a picture one more time at the end of this and show a picture that I took um, of my own hair to show quickly kind of the similarities. So um, yeah, so that just shows you, you know, I did my hair challenge. I feel accomplished. Um, like, I, I particularly, not my favorite style, but I mean, it looks fine. Um, and I'm sure somebody could find a different way to do it. You know, you could do flat Swiss on the side to go back, blah, 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 all that stuff. But I just tried to figure out an easier way to do it. Obviously, last night just takes a while, but whatever. It was worth it for you guys. Um, so that just shows you that, you know, whatever the style is, you can definitely figure out um, how to do it. Um, and you can definitely look at any style really and be like oh yeah I can do that depending on the length of your hair blah 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 and the resources you have so keep your head up keep trying out those styles and if you come up with a style on your own using my steps um, do a video response to my video where that I the video where I told you the steps of how to figure out a thing and if you do a um, uh, if you try out this hairstyle or try your own repetition I don't know if that's the right word, of um, the style that this lady has. If you also know this lady's name, you can put it in the comment box. <laughs> um, then make a video response. Let me know if you find a different white lady, Asian lady, whatever lady who, who doesn't have locks, um, and you reincarnate, maybe that's a good word, their hairstyle with your own locks, then please make a video response to this also so that I can see and be like, hey, that's pretty dope, because, you know, I might be making videos, but that doesn't mean I can't steal some of y'all's ideas, so just let me know, video response, comments, all that love is greatly appreciated, thank you for watching, and, um, this Thursday, I'm gonna have two videos, my, uh, happy birthday year two video to my hair, and the controversy talk, so tune in then, thanks for watching, guys, bye.